Yo, what's going on boys? Shannon from Monk About Sound and welcome to today's video. In this video, we're going to be recreating the main bass from Excision, Datsik, and Dion Timmer's brand new track, Harambe. And this is what it sounds like. So that's literally exactly, or at least very, very close to the original bass. So, um, yeah, since it's so close, make sure you drop a like if you like that sound. Uh, yeah, drop a sub as well, because we do do recreations on the week lead basis but anyways yeah um really cool sound there and shout out to ac saber they actually sent me like a link to the app um it's called ac saber and basically it's like a cheaper alternative for um a midi, midi keyboard so you don't have to pay like a hundred dollars you could basically just pay fifteen dollars and use your phone as a midi keyboard yeah, i don't know it's a really interesting app um so i'm gonna have that at the top of the description the link if you want to go check them out um i actually I've been playing around with it for a pretty long time. I think it's a pretty cool app. So that, I just want to share that with you guys. Shout out to AC Saber. Check them out. Anyways, back to the video. Um, we actually are using two instances of Serum. We're using Serum and then Serum FX uh, because this bass has so much like distortion and so many um, or so much pro post processing into the original bass that you can't just make it in one, um, one setting of Serum. So we're going to start off by, I'm actually going to hand up initializing my whole strip so um yeah let me go to find serum there we go okay so first things first uh this base is actually really really simple to make um so don't be frightened by that stuff that's just something else anyways uh voicing first things first uh the original base just kind of goes like this if you see this midi region and um yeah just kind of follow that just turn up the portamento a little bit and into oscillator A, we are going to turn on our Spectral Monster 5. Um, first things first, we are going to go into our multis and squareify this waveform. Now I know in the original track it doesn't sound squareified. It's because we go ahead and we turn on the Ben Plus and it actually removes that metallic um, feature that we original he re originally hear. Um, yeah, so we're going to turn up this wave tilt position to about, what is that? 75%, somewhere around there. And we're just going to make this stretch about 50 points, which is going to bring us up to about like the 80 percentile or the 75 ish. But anyways, yeah, we're going to form our LFO shape, LFO one, which I'm going to be using kind of similar like this. Um, it doesn't have to be exact. It just kind of goes like this because this is what they use. Um, something similar to this in the original track. And um, yeah, we're going to turn on our bend positive. So there we're just going to be squishing the frequencies and the of the waveform into the middle more like and as you can hear Okay, wait, hold up We begin to lose that um, that presence that metallic presence as we do start to move into um, The center so we're going to stick on our LFO onto this as well, and this is going to be a very very slight um, Movement here. Uh, we don't want anything too harsh or else it's really just going to drain out the original sound. So, into the filter, we're going to turn on a band 24. Um, so, band pass, you know, obviously we're cutting out a lot of frequencies as we move the cutoff. So, you're probably like, Shane, what the heck? Just hear me out. It does work, okay? Because if you listen to the original sound, we can kind of hear parts of a, a band pass filter, but yeah, the, I just kind of knew what filter to use as I went through listening to track. Oh yeah, by the way, turn up the noise. Um, make sure the noise is turned on for the filter. Um, we could turn this on just a little bit. It depends because it really just goes by how much distortion, because as we move further into the sound, we do tend to just distort the higher end and the noise does add in a little bit extra distortion, obviously. So if you guys want to do that, that's up to you, but I'm going to leave it off just for the sake of the tutorial. Um, so yeah, that's all we do for the band 24. I know band pass, not much work to be done there. Um, yeah, we're, we're already almost done here <laughs> into the effects. We're just going to turn on our hyper dimension and, or no, not yet. My bad. That's in the serum FX. Okay. Into the filter. I mean, we're going to turn on a high pass 24 normal high 24. Turn that cut off all the way down there and then 
we're just going to stick this up to a little bit more than 50%. So like about 51, just somewhere around there, 52. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It really doesn't matter. You leave it at 50. Um, turn that up there. Uh, turn up the resonance. And as we turn up the resonance, okay, you guys cannot hear anything um, <laughs> coming out because, you know, there's nothing going on here. I'm just going to turn up this compressor. Don't actually do this. I just want to make sure you, get, you can hear the difference that we're making with the filter. As we turn up the resonance, we do begin to lose that higher end throughout the high pass. And it really just focuses the, the sound down a little bit more. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously turn down that compressor. I'm not, I just kind of did that for tutorial sake. But yeah, turn on the multiband and uh, turn up the gain just a tad bit. And now we are actually getting really close to where we want to be right now. And to the distortion, we're just going to move the distortion down under the compressor. Um, order of effects is really key in this particular bass. Um, we're going to turn on our diode 2 distortion. And um, the diode 2, we're just going to turn up that drive just to about 55. The thing I like about the diodes is um, they do kind of crush the sound in a way that it isn't too harsh. It's it's pretty, or I shouldn't say, it's pretty harsh, but it's not in, really intense, I should say. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Do you kind of understand what I'm saying? As we turn up the drive, um, it's not so, the sound isn't so intense to where it's actually just distorting all the frequencies and all the harmonics in the bass. Um, you know, it's, it works out really good. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of adding a little extra oomph to the sound. Um, just kind of boost the levels a little bit. And then finally, we're just going to turn on our EQ and just boost the high end just a tad bit. That's all we have to do. Okay. Now we're going to go to our effects chain and we're going to turn on X for records, Serum Effects. Serum Effects can be downloaded off of, you know, X for records website. Um, it's comes with serum if you bought serum which you better have bought serum guys come on uh, if you don't buy serum splice does ten dollars a month for it you know come on it's it's 2016 get with the program anyways into the serum FX we're going to turn on our hyper and our dimension that's going to be our first effect on the list we're just going to turn on that mix and then you guys already know the deal with dimension low size high mix so we don't get that extra feedback into the disto, we're going to be, this is what I, as I mentioned earlier, I said we're really gonna be focusing the distortion into the higher end because if I turn on this disto, all right. you guys hear that really gross clipping sound? It's because um, we're actually distorting all the frequencies in the bass and that's not what we want. If we listen to the original sound, it really just has a higher end uh, clip and it, it sounds perfect. So we're going to turn on our, um, our pre-distortion and we're going to turn on our high pass and really we're just going to be cutting out this lower end and we're going to drop this little circle here um, that's kind of like a little resonance peak. We're going to drop this all the way down here and um, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just make like 280 something around there. Okay, and yeah, that works. Uh, the next effect, we're going to turn on a phaser. Rate's gonna be all the way down, depth, frequency. You know, the phaser, like with these settings, actually almost uh, emulates a guitar amp effect, just a little bit. And, you know, it just kind of adds in a little bit more of that distortion feel that we hear in the original sound. But, um, yeah, on top of that, we're just going to select our chorus. Okay. Our chorus rate is going to go up to about 10 hertz and then the delay is going to go down to about what like three milliseconds and then the, the, the depth is going to go down to about 17 milliseconds somewhere around here or 18 let's say uh, let's go with 19 19 sounds good okay so the low pass filter we're going to turn up all the way okay so you guys are probably like why did we just do a chorus um choruses are actually really really nice if you are going if you need a little bit more space in the sound, um, if we listen to this track, this bass has a really, really hard hitting presence. Well, it's also actually really wide in a stereo imager. So 
Um, the chorus is really just there to spread out the sound a little bit more. Uh, yeah, choruses are really, really good for that. And then finally, another multiband compressor because as we squash the frequencies um, in right in here and just even everything out, we just added on like four other no more effects. So we got to do that again just to make everything, all the bases stand out. Um, because a l nice little trick here that we did was we cut out the low end in the tube, so the tube's only distorting the uh, the high end, and then the compressor swoops in here and then actually boosts the low end. So um, really, we're just getting a distorted high end while also maintaining a lower end. So this is what the bass sounds like. That's all it took to make this bass. Um, really hope you guys like this tutorial. It really is an easy sound to make in my opinion it took me a little bit to recreate because you know i had to go into serum effects all that good stuff but we ended up making it so thank you guys for watching i'm shane from rock crowd sound once again link to ac saber this wasn't sponsored or anything they just sent me the app and i thought it was a cool thing to share with you guys so links in the description i'm shane from rock crowd sound and i'm signing out <laughs>